I do have a deal that came that came on the table today, but I don't know, y'all. It's a short sale. I'm gonna have to do it as a short sale. The numbers look good, sure? but well, it's it's in Columbus, South Carolina. It's and it's a friend. It's a friend of mine who's in a tough situation. So my maximum allowable offer is like a hundred and twenty thousand. It's it's worth like two hundred twenty thousand. I need twenty thousand dollars worth of repairs. So, and I'm trying to explain to her the process. For one, that's all I can offer. So, if the bank, she uh, she's right at the top. She might be upside down. She don't really know. She says she'll find out. But like y'all say, especially Jeff says, all sellers lie. So, right. um, I don't. I think she's about upside down. Uh, she's right at the top. <laughs> There's not much equity in it. Is there any and monthly cash flow? Well, could it could it make anything it, as a rental? Yeah, it, her payment is like eight hundred, and in that area you rent for about seventeen, eighteen hundred. Keep great. it, buy it. You don't. It doesn't matter what the what you're paying for. Remember, there's this tripod thing. If you can uh -huh. get it for cheap for a long period of time, yeah, um, and make on money on the spread, or or you got to have a lot of equity in it. You don't need the equity. It's a it's a, it's a tripod stool. You just got to have two of the three legs. To make it right. Work. right right i heard it on the other call there yeah, that make yeah that makes sense i mean it's it's a good deal but it about being a short sale from what i've heard from other investors i don't know why they call it short because it takes it's a process it takes time right yeah you don't need to um, do that you can buy it subject to and rent it out even if she's she she owes like twelve thousand. she's behind well, uh, but you're, you've got something like a thousand bucks a month, eight hundred to a thousand dollars a month spread. So yeah. now you have a decision to make. Okay, do I want to catch up the twelve thousand she's behind right. in order to make a thousand a month, or just oh. let the thing go? I see what you're saying. Either That's way, she's gonna have to get at. caught up. Yeah. And huh. you, you know. Um, James McGrath is in here talking about, he actually got a guy to give him, it was two months behind at 1200 bucks. He got the guy to give him the 1200 plus $600 more. That's, that's what you can do. You say, listen, you, you're behind, but you're going to have to pay half of this to me somehow. I'll take it over. Oh. I'll buy it subject to, but um, the, the alternative is they can negotiate with that lender and get it put on the back end of their loan. If it's a, a, a GSE loan, a, a government securities back loan, Fannie, Freddie, FHA, HUD loans, those kind of things. Oh, okay. Um, so make her do that work and you'll take it over when that 14 or 12 is put on the back end of the loan. Okay, hold on, let me jot that down back in. So then you don't have to come out with no chunka up front. And that's the key. You want no chunka or low chunka in and then you want big chunka coming back. Okay. Man, all right. I didn't think about that. Okay. That's why we get the big ones, ish. <laughs> no, I like that. I like that. She said she got she got like eight thousand dollars because she ain't been making her payments. I might can get her to pay at least half. There you go, right there. Yeah. That's that's the way to do it. Uh, you know, right. and, and you will be on our, our rock star wall of fame <laughs> if you can get that done. Because <laughs> that the most of these I'm people working. will believe, will not believe that's possible to get somebody who's in default to give you the house and give you money. But right. I've done it personally many times. Wow. And it's, I like it. It's a thrill. Okay. Hey, man, you've inspired me. I, this is doable. Actually, this is absolutely and That doable. spread is nice. $800 yeah. a month and 1800 is what it can rent for. That's, man, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm going to give it a try. I ain't got nothing to lose. Yeah. I All mean, right. You know, you can uh, – whoa, what happened there? We lost something. Well, Scott is uh, sharing his screen. Oh. I figured Ashley would take care of it. I got you. There we are. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. I thought well, you were about you to show me something. you just get on there and, you know, uh, you'll, you'll have to use potentially more than just schoolboy charm and good looks to get the deal done. But you probably can, uh, you know – Dance and dance that sucker and tell her, <laughs> you know, you listen, you, you haven't been making this payment. Give me the money or send, we'll send it right off to the lender. I don't care. And I'll take over. And you know what? Within six months, your credit will be restored. 
That's, that's the true. nice thing. We haven't really that's talked true. about that much, but when you start buying foreclosures, you are really uh -huh. helping the seller because you're going to catch up those payments. And once those payments right. are caught up with about a six month payment stream of on-time payments, their right. credit score, which has taken a hit, will be restored to where it was. So you're that's actually point. helping a seller by, you know, taking them out of that kind of position. And then obviously you're helping the tenant buyer and, you know, you guys all know the blah, 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 why that's right. a good thing for tenant buyers. Well, the blah, blah, blah works for the seller side too. I mean, okay. it's almost like an American thing. It's like everybody should join us. Allow us to repair your credit for you. Let us get it all <laughs> fixed. Right. Life will be so much better on the other side. Just sign here. Right. Man, that makes sense. I'll okay. send you a show to pick up the thirty thousand dollars, <laughs> and I'll be on my way. <laughs> I sure will. Okay, and that's, that definitely sounds better than that short sale process because I didn't really yeah, like. Yeah, that. forget the short sale. Research. That's that stuff's for the birds. They they're not even going to have that. They're going to you know disown short sales within a couple of years. Probably foreclosures too. It'll be something else. But, right. I remember hearing that. I think you said it. You might have said it on one of the other videos about uh they're going to be a modified way of doing it in the future or something there will i i don't think they can i think there's going to be too many foreclosures out of this process and they won't be able they physically won't be able to handle that kind of volume i mean for gosh sakes it took them five years to get to ramp up to get enough help to take care of the last recession and there's like four times as many houses in in a problem state now right you know, wow, now yeah. some of those guys will pull out of that nosedive, but most of those guys, it'll just fly right into the mountain. Right. It'll be a big explosion. All right. It won't be pretty. That's true. Man, all right. I'm good. Man. Go get it, man. It's like, when I do you want to make money? I mean, how do you want to make it? Now? Tomorrow? Later? D? All the above? Yes. Yesterday. D. Right. Okay. So <laughs> let's go get it, man. What's holding you all back? All right. Nah, nothing. I'll be talking to y'all Tuesday about that deal in Columbia. All right. Well, let's get on, get on there Monday if you need me. Whatever you got to do. Let's, let's get you across the finish line on one of these deals. Two on three. Okay. Of them. All right. That sounds good. Yep. Yep. Appreciate right, it, Jeff. Get back to these airplanes. I think a guy's waiting on me to inspect something. You waiting okay. on me to spin? <laughs> That's probably anyway, more important no. than what we're talking about here. Don't miss something on that deal. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got to keep this, this Gulfstream pay going. So, yeah, so. Yeah. Right. <laughs>